when you take the derivative of an exponential function where the base is not e, this is the formula you use. So we're going to say a is the base. So in this situation, a is 7. And u is the power. In this situation, it's sine x squared. So a to the u, the derivative of that is ln a, so ln of the base, times a to the u, basically the function, times the derivative of the power. So you just simply plug all the pieces into this, and you got your derivative. So as you can see, right here, you first take ln of the base, so ln 7. Then you rewrite the function as is, a to the u, just leave it. And then you derive the power. So the derivative of this, just be careful, this is a chain rule. A lot of people kind of miss that. But this is a chain rule. So you're going to take the 2 out front, leave the inside, drop the power by 1, and then derive the inside. The derivative sine is cosine. And then I kind of want to simplify this. This is probably a reasonable answer. I just tend to like to put the powered piece at the end so you don't think any of this is inside the power somehow. I always just like powers at the end. It all depends on what you want to write. And also numbers tend to be in the front. So um, if you see here, I moved this piece in the front right there. And I left this in the back. And there's one more step you might be able to do that you might not notice, and a lot of people wouldn't notice all the time, is this 2 can actually go in front of the ln 7. All right, and then due to log properties, you can take that 2, bring it up, make it 7 squared, and 7 squared is 49. Kind of weird, most likely not going to be necessary, but just in case, that is another step you can do in simplifying. But again, this probably would have been perfectly fine for the answer as well. Just memorize this formula and it's real simple to take the derivative of an exponential function.